Got a question for you. Are you seriously in the market for a tiny home that you can call your home? Well, I'm Alan Litvak. Welcome to our unique, one of a kind, spectacular tiny home. And as you can see, there are five windows plus the door here on the passenger side. And another amazing, unique feature is the Shoshushiban wood, which is a special burning technique and a beautiful way to waterproof wood. This wood will last up to 75 years. Charring the wood makes it weatherproof and accentuates the natural grain of the wood. And as you can tell, it looks beautiful. Another amazing feature of this tiny home, two amazing features, it's lighter and it's stronger. The framing is actually this lightweight steel, which is 40% lighter than traditional wood-based tiny homes and the manufacturer said it is so strong and so durable, you could park a pickup truck on the roof. And it changes the different colors of the exterior lights. The strip lighting runs the length of the house and is Alexis enabled. This is for dog lovers. This doggy wash runs hot and cold water and comes with the doggy wash accessories. There's a hot and cold outlet Another unique feature of this tiny house is the patina steel. Welcome inside our tiny home. I feel bad calling it a tiny home because this is significantly larger in its dimensions than a typical industry tiny home as far as the dimensions. Notice the cool little things like the blinds. You've got dimmer switches for the kitchen as you do throughout the tiny home. The beautiful custom patina ironwork again inside and look at the extra space right here for both lofts for storage more storage than you're going to know what to do with welcome to the standard size kitchen and dining area in our tiny home notice again the custom craft work on all the kitchen cabinets and drawers but all kinds of extra room in our tiny home beautiful cabinetry throughout our standard size kitchen, starting with these butcher block countertops, the custom maple drawers. Again, notice the craftsmanship and the extra size and space. And another cool feature in our tiny home, watch the self-closing drawers and lots of this custom storage space. But this is not storage. Another upgrade, this is your Fisher Paykel dishwasher. And yes, it's self-closing, but wait, there's more on this upgraded dishwasher. You simply tap the exterior twice to stop the dishwasher. And once again, we can't emphasize enough how much additional and extra storage space compared to a traditional tiny house. And right next to the circuit breaker is another upgraded feature, surge protection for every electrical outlet. So let me tell you a big story about these little black squares throughout the house. Why are you guys making such a big deal about these squares? I'm really glad you asked. These squares come from a family tree on the family farm in Sandy Hook, Kentucky. Lightning struck the tree and most of us would say, well, that tree's dead, but not Ron Rossi and his family. And this is why this home is not just cool, but it's super cool. Because Ron's family took that tree that was struck by lightning, that beautiful black walnut tree, and cut it up. And they custom hand cut every single one of these squares that you see throughout the house. You're not gonna find this in any tiny house or any other house for that matter. All right, here we are in one of our two spacious lofts upstairs in our tiny home. And notice the dual ERVs, one in each loft. This is very unique. Some tiny homes have these, but not very many and not of this caliber or quality. These actually work as dehumidifiers. They can add moisture or take moisture out. All kinds of great electrical outlets on both sides of both lofts. 
You can actually turn the exterior lights on and off right here from the loft. And one more great feature in each of these lofts above bedstead lighting that goes on and off. And again, just like downstairs, all of the drawers are these wonderful self-closing upgraded drawers. And just one more feature, the ceiling lights are also dimmable. We've already showed you how much phenomenal additional upgraded storage space there is throughout the tiny home. Here's even more in them. Oh, sorry, was a little coffee break in my I'm almost employee of the month cup. But dimmer switches on the lights again here in our very spacious living area. Cable outlets all throughout the tiny home. And then check this out. This is, well, it looks like a couch, and it is, but it's three in one. It's a couch, it's a lounger, and it's a full-size bed. But don't take my word for it, we're gonna show you. So here it is in bed mode, but check this out, because why is our bed plugged into the wall? Because it's got its very own USB port and outlets for you to plug your stuff in while you're enjoying the bed and the view with windows on all sides. I don't always drink my coffee and read my book on my three-in-one lounger, but when I do, you better believe it's in my amazing tiny home. This lounger is so comfortable that the crew doesn't know it, but when we get done shooting this segment, I'm on a coffee break, but not one, not two, but three windows with outside views. And I'm telling you, this couch and this lounger and this bed, and this is the lounger, is so daggum comfortable. The crew doesn't know this either, but I'm done for the day, guys. Give me some more coffee and I'm on a break. Another upgraded feature are the four modules that comprise the decking, again, made out of Shoshushi Bond wood, which means you will never have to re-weatherproof your deck. 